Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today there have been some crazy updates to the IX Wrecker that you guys absolutely need to see and you absolutely need to know about because there have been incredible strides made on this truck recently. The creator, uh, Puppy Master, has been absolutely hammering out these updates, and I cannot wait to show you guys what these updates are actually capable of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you uh, what the update does, then I'm going to use it to rescue a, well not necessarily rescue, but I'm going to demonstrate it on a vehicle that's already right here around the garage. And then we're going to actually attempt sort of a little bit of a mini rescue mission, if you will. So real quick, we're going to do a small build. We're just going to um, switch it over to a 6.7 power stroke. We're going to use a, uh, let's see, an off-road torque shift. And for now, we'll actually use the base soft suspension. Nothing too crazy. 39s, stock wheels, well, actually, yeah, 39s, stock wheels, winch offline, and spare wheel, backseat supplies, snorkel, we will go ahead and install, and then the frame add-on that we're going to use is a frame add-on that I haven't actually used before on this truck in a video, and that is the, where is it, come on, there we go, the wrecker body. Now, this is an actual, like, tow truck body, an actual wrecker body, so it's really, really, really cool, and it actually works now. That's the thing is that it's fully animated now. There's an actual like full-on list of features that it has and it's really cool how it makes use of basically makes use of of like the actual system within the game. So let's see. Ooh, I dig that. I dig that. Oh my god. I am down for that for sure. Now let's see. Miscellaneous. Ah, uh, long bed with cargo and repair supplies. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. I haven't noticed that yet, but that's really interesting. I didn't know they had that. It's pretty sick. We'll use the default exhaust. Nothing crazy. Stock wheels. And I'm also going to change up the color because... Oh, that's interesting. The color of the bumper also changes. I didn't realize that was a thing, but eh, not too bad. We'll just do kind of like a grayish white, and then we'll leave the garage. I love how the lights actually work. Oh, that's so sick. Now, of course, those are a default thing. They're not, those aren't part of the mod, but it's cool that the mod actually has them. Now, let's go over to this Hummer here. This Hummer is in great distress, especially after I almost hit it. Now, let's see if, oh, the, uh, the interior's been updated a little bit. Now, let's see. I know it's kind of a bit of a tight space right here, but let me just try and get oriented the way I want. Still not quite, but you all get the picture, so... With that being said, what we're going to do is now we're going to actually use the the arm and all of the functionality that's been added to this towing attachment. So in order to do that, we're going to have to activate the anchor, which is basically going to lower what picks up the wheels. And then if you go into crane mode, this actually functions like a crane now, which is really, really cool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get in the Hummer and I'm going to switch to it, drive it up onto, oh god, oh god, drive it up onto the back of the tow truck, and then we're going to secure it using the boom. So let's see if it wants to do this for me. All right, it's resting in there, so that's good. Keep in mind, this is a, this can be a little finicky, and it doesn't always, like, fully 100% work, and that's not any kind of, like, I mean, it works, it's just, like, it can sometimes be a little weird about how it works. So let's get a little bit of tension on that. And now I'm going to attempt to bring that back up. Now keep in mind, this is this is like an on or off anchor deal. So it's, it's either one way or the other. Quick, oh! I didn't do it right. Oh no! Hang on, let's see. Well, we kind of did it right. Let me now go back into crane mode. Attach to it. Put tension on it. And now we kind of, kind of have a working setup. So as you can see, we have an animated, basically an animated tow truck. And I'm pretty sure that is an actual first for SnowRunner. I don't think that there has been, well, no, I'm actually completely sure that there hasn't been a fully animated tow truck in this game at all, ever, yet. I mean, this is the very first one, and 
it's a huge deal a huge deal that we have this and the fact that we have this now i i can only imagine where players are going to go with this and the scenarios they're going to create and all the different things they're going to come up with but enough staring at it let's actually go ahead and use it now and drive it so this is where it's going to get real interesting so i'm going to be very careful let's see the carrier the wheel carrier is twisting a little bit but not as much as you might think. I mean, it does twist a little when you turn, but that's actually good because it helps keep the front wheels in there. It's so crazy, like, to me to think of what I'm looking at right now and actually be like, yep, I'm I'm actually doing this in SnowRunner. It's a functional tow truck. Dude, this guy needs a actual freaking medal for creating everything that he's created here today. Like, everything that he has brought forth to the table is turning the tide of SnowRunner modding, like genuinely turning the tide of modding in this game. It's a huge difference, and he's definitely going to be remembered as one of the best, like, one of the best modders, and not only one of the best modders, but one of the modders that's on the forefront of mod development. So let's go ahead and release that winch now. I'm going to activate the anchor. And, oh god, oh that didn't actually go as planned, hang on. It's okay, though, because we have a crane. And we can basically be like, no, get out of here. Oh, wait, that's not actually going to work, is it? Oof. Hold on. Crane mode. Pull the crane in. Attach the front. And then move you away. It wants to hang on. Ouch. All right. I'm going to actually make you... or You're going to make me back you off the truck. Okay, so... Things like that, I mean, are things that, yes, they might be able to be improved on, but, dude, it's still a freaking tow truck. Like, yeah, there's gonna be slight issues here and there, but let's not, like, let's not, like, pick at it. I mean, let's appreciate it for what it's able to achieve. Now, let's do one more little rescue. This one is at a little bit of an angle because I wanted to sort of put it through some testing that involved, uh, like, water and a hill and I want to see how it handles that. So, rescue number two. Conveniently, another Hummer. I'm going to put the diff lock on for this. Backing it up. And e-brake on. And we're going to go ahead and activate the anchor. There's that. Oh my god, that put our wheels off the ground. Alright, bud. That's a, that's a thing. Crane mode. Recovery time. Hook it up. Lift it up. And bring it in. Right there. Whoa, it jumped backwards on me. That was odd. All right, I'm going to leave you there for now, and then I'm going to pull the anchor back up. Oh, I almost had it that time. Hang on. I'm putting the anchors back down. Dude, I'm putting the anchors back down. I'm not giving up on this. I want to actually, like, fully get it right. There we go. All right, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. Ah, come back. Thank you. Activate anchor. Ooh, so close. So close, but you know what? Ah! Yeah, you know what? Don't let me drive your tow truck, because I didn't do it right. It was close, though. If I lower the winch... Oh my god, right there is dead on. Dude, right there is dead on. Alright, I'm going to loosen some tension. Yep. I'm going to lower it and then put tension on it. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Give it light throttle. That's even in, like, low minus. you got to be careful. But it works! 
Dude, once you're out of there, it works! That's incredible. That is incredible. It actually just performed a real recovery. Like, how tremendous is that? That is like... That's literally the stuff of like... My dreams in SnowRunner and probably the dreams of a lot of other people as well because... Like, let me know in the comments section below, like, if you are a PC player, let me know if this is something you will try out. And also, let me know if a functional tow truck is something you've been waiting for, because, wow, I cannot tell you how incredibly excited I am that this actually works in, in pretty much a near fully realistic way. I mean, we have an actual functioning tow truck. Not even, like, a flatbed, but, like, a real tow truck. I, I am just... I'm blown away by this thing, and yeah, I'm kind of fangirling over it, but can you blame me, dude? Like, look at it. Look at what it's able to do. I mean, I don't think you can blame me. I really don't. Now, if you guys enjoyed this look at this truck, then make sure you, you let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to y'all later.